Hello everyone, today I want to share with you an Excel tip. Um, it's actually a troubleshooting uh, tutorial for the function sum ifs. Um, so it's a very common uh, formula that I believe a lot of you have already used. Uh, but in reality, when I used it, I found myself actually made some mistakes more than once. So I'm like, if this is helpful to myself, it might be helpful to you as well. So this is why I'm sharing it. Okay, so let me get started. So here you can tell that I um, at least four versions of the sum if functions. Some works, some uh, does not work. And let me, uh, I will show you in a sec uh, which one does not and uh, does not work and why it doesn't. So the scenario that I'm working on now is like this. So we try to calculate the total base um, salary, which is this column G. G based on two criteria. So one is the performance rating. We want to only look at the ones that's four, rating is four, and we also want to look at the compare ratios above uh, 120%. So I have this compare ratio grouping um, column, and I just want to have the ones that's shown above 120%. Okay, so that's a very typical sum if uh, function scenario. So uh, the first function I have, um, as you can see here, is basically saying um, um, like it's just typically like sum ifs, um, and then you go for uh, the sum range, which is G. So most typically, this is how we're going to use it. So column G, and then common, and then criteria column one, which is column C, the performance rating. And then um, you have like four as a criteria, and then the second uh, criteria, which is compare ratio grouping. And then we want to select only the above 120%. So this is how this formula is constructed. And um, um, let's see if it works. Okay, perfect. So it's actually working very well. Um, and this is, I bet a lot of um, us use um, use this formula. Um, and alternatively, this there's an, also another way to use this formula with a named range. Um, so it is a more advanced uh, way to use it. Um, and I used it a lot when I have a massive data set. So for example, the one that you see here has less than 10 columns, but there are times that I I deal with um, data sheets with over 100 columns. In that uh, case, um, it will be very inconvenient if you have to scroll all the way uh, to the right or all the way to the left for the data that you want to select. So in that case, it comes very handy um, to have the named ranges. So you can see, for example, in this um, formula, I'm trying to say um, to tell Excel, well, we do the sum ifs uh, for the column base salary, um, and we just want to select the column performance rating um, of four and uh, compare ratio grouping of above 120. And then let's see if Excel works. But then before we do that, the first thing that we need to do is to name the ranges first. So to do that, um, select the um, you can select the uh, first of uh, the title uh, the title row, and then select all your data. And you have to one thing to remember is that you should have your title selected, and all the titles uh, should have a title name in it. That there cannot be um, have a blank. Uh, title name. And then after you select the full data set, go to create from selection um, under formulas. And then here, um, by default, I think it's going to show uh, click on tick on the top row and the right column. Oh, the left column, left column. Um, usually, for uh, to um, I I just use top uh, top rows because I think uh, sometimes if you use both, it might be confusing. So I always just have only top row selected and then go OK. And then now let's see what's happening. So first you go to here the name box, and then you can see that I actually start to have all those named ranges. And then let's select the base pay. And then you can see Excel is actually already selecting this column, which is exactly the base pay range that I want to have. Alternatively, you can also go to the name manager, and then it's also going to show you all the columns that you just selected and named. So 
this is basically how I name my uh, ranges. So this way I don't have to scroll all the way to the left or all the way to the right when I uh, use the summary function, which is very handy. And then let's see if this formula works. Perfect, so it's working well as well. Um, okay, so now let's look at the third one, uh, which is um, we are trying to say um, the sum ifs. We want to sum the base salary, um, the base salary range, um, and then we still want to have performance uh, we, uh, column, we choose four, and then the common ratio grouping, we choose above 120. So let's see if this formula works. Whoops, it does not work. And why is that? The reason for that has something to do with how you name um, your range. So let's go back to um, the name manager and then let's see how I name my base salary range. So when you select that, you're gonna see the base salary range refers to um, my column from my cell from G6 to G105. So actually, the equivalent of this formula is this. And then, uh, yeah, let me get rid of that equal sign. And then this is exactly why it's not working. And the reason that it's not working is because that our sum range um, is not in the equal size as our criteria range um, and criteria two range. And the reason you can tell that, you know what, uh, for our sum range, we only select from column uh, from row six to row 105. But then for our criteria, we actually select the full column. And if those sizes are not identical, Excel does not calculate for the sum ifs function. So that is why this one doesn't work. And then you can tell um, it with the same rationale, this function does not work either. So in order for them to work, there are, um, there are a couple ways, to, uh, two ways to do it. You either change your uh, so, uh, your sum range to be the same as your criteria range or you do vice versa. So let's say, so for example, for this one, let me change it to uh, the same size for my uh, criteria range, 105. And then let me do the same for my column E, uh, six, uh, absolute sign and uh, 105 and then now let's just recalculate and then you can see now it's perfectly working that it's um, it, it, uh, that that is showing the right number or we can go back to whatever um, the criteria range is saying which is in my case the full column and then you change them to be the equal size and then now the formula is working um, so that is one thing that um, I would like to share with you today. So sometimes when your summary function does not work, the first thing you want, might want to check is that uh, whether your um, crit sum range and criteria range has the same um, size. Um, you can also, if you have named ranges, one thing to also check is whether your named range has the same size um, as your criteria range. So this is very important for the SUMI function to work. Okay, so that is everything I want to share with you today. I hope that you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.